Hey there, brothers and sisters in Christ. In this video, it's going to be pretty quick. I wanted to share an experience with you all that I had, I will say, a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago. And it pertains to um, the chapter and verse that you see before you, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And this under then in this understanding is what you believe to be right or wrong we're called not to lean on our own right and wrongs but to trust in the lord our god with all our hearts and in all our ways for us to acknowledge him and it is he that shall direct our paths okay when we realize this in our life we are helping ourselves in preventing any mistakes and some of these mistakes a lot of these mistakes we regret because we didn't acknowledge the Lord and I've noticed that a lot of these regrets in believers lives is marrying a spouse that they had not taken to the Lord because I mean when people get into marriages you don't really know who that individual is but God knows, especially with a marriage to where it is to death do us part, you would want to take your time and seek the Lord in prayer and in fasting. There's no need to rush for anything. And ask the Lord, is this who you want me to be with for the rest of my life? Lord, can you reveal who this person really is? Do they really love you? They said that they are a believer. Your will, Lord, not my will. And brethren, if you trust the Lord with your heart, soul, and might, oh, he will expose that individual to you to really show you who this person is. Whether he will tell you audibly, whether he will show you a dream or a vision, and show you whether there be any secrets in that person's life and whatever the Lord shows you you take it and run with it I've had this experience not a, not when it comes to marriage though but when it comes to people in your life even family members sometimes I wouldn't even ask the Lord about certain family members but he would show me and all I can do is say thank you Lord and I accept it for what it is even people okay so let us do that when it comes to jobs acknowledge him he'll open up doors he'll shut up doors when it comes to buying houses getting an apartment uh seeking and searching even purchasing a car with the car that i have had it for four years now four or five years now haven't had any issues with it brethren and I remember going to the Lord and crying and praying to him because I didn't want a, a, a car salesman to sell me just a lemon car because I had no knowledge of any vehicles. So I asked the Lord, he direct my path and I had never had any issues with my vehicle. Okay, so let's go down to the experience. And you realize with these marriages... There's people that just jump into marriages and in these marriages they have children with their spouses and they realize that this person was not the person that they thought who they would be when they got into this marriage. But if we would have acknowledged the Lord, the Lord would have shown you what you had not known to where he would have already shut the door but we have taken it upon our own selves being god in our own lives this is why we end up in the situations that we end up in all right and i'm not here to cast down anyone i'm just saying if you decide to marry hey there's no need to rush in anything because you're going to be with that person until you die people end up in marriages not even knowing an individual next you know months or years later that same person that they marry end up killing them and their children that is just a fact but if we would have acknowledged the lord the lord would have already told you that person is a murderer in heart already to where you would have said 
Um, I don't think we can marry. We can be friends, though. Or you probably wouldn't even want to be their friend. All right. So with the experience that I had a few days, a few weeks ago. So I was um, basically shopping around for a, another place to live. And I remember praying this, the same prayer. I said, Lord, I acknowledge you in all my ways. And Lord, help me to find a place. I don't want to find a place on my own and regret. Because I don't know what's wrong with the place. Okay, there's there could be mold. It could be in a neighborhood that isn't um, safe. It could be anything that I'm not aware of. And I just kept praying to the Lord, asking him to help me, help me, help me. So as I'm asking him, looking at different places. So there came a time where I thought I found a decent place, which looked nice. And I liked it. So I pulled up in the parking lot. And I was about to get out to go look at it. Mind you, before that, like I said, I never, my vehicle never, I never had any issues with my vehicle. On my keychain, I have the automatic lock and unlock button with the panic button, the alarm system. Mind you, that had not been working for months, months, months to where I don't even think about manually unlocking it unlocking it i just when i get out of my car i manually i mean automatically or uh, automatically lock and unlock it with the keychain and that hadn't been working so i just stopped using it so what i would do i would just manually lock and unlock my doors um let me show you because i took a picture one second so the keychain hadn't been working. So I'm at pull it up at this um, particular place that I desired. Like I said, no, nothing. I never had any issues with my car. So when it came to getting out, you see on the bottom um, lock and unlock. That never had any issues. So when it came for me to get out, I was clicking it. As you can hear it, I'm in my car right now, the automatic, the automatic. When I came to get out, that didn't work. So it's like practically I was stuck in my vehicle to where I couldn't get out. So I had to uh, manually o open the door the where you see where the red button is on the top. I had to manually open it and I never since I had this car never had to open the door that way and I found it strange that I had to do that but I didn't think much of it as soon as I open the door now the alarm goes off mind you I'm at this place and it's around seven eight o'clock in the morning people are asleep I'm in this community the alarm goes off beep 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 Again, the keychain panic button hadn't been working for months, so I cannot cut it off. I'm hitting it, clicking, 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 hitting it with my hand to see if that would work. It's not working. I put the keys ignition, turn it on, start up the car. It's still beeping. Turn it off. It's still beeping. Trying to find any way to have it shut off so I can go look at this place. It's still not working. So I didn't want the people to call the police because I'm not from that area or that complex community. So I get in my car and I like drove off and I didn't want the people to think, oh, she just stole this car. We're going to get the license plate and we're going to call the police. So I'm speeding off out of this complex. I can't even see the place anymore. Okay. So I'm at this red light. Can't even see the place anymore. <clears throat> as soon as I leave the community, I'm at the red light. I turn, I turn, I, and mind you, the alarm is still going off. There's no way I can cut it off because the keychain, automatic alarm, is not working. I just wanted to get away from the people because I didn't want any issues or whatnot. Get to the red light. I, um... Turn the ignition off, turn it on, off, on. It's still beeping, still beeping. 
Then next thing you know, I turn it off, pull it out of the ignition, and I click the panic button on and off. Brethren, it started to work. Mind you, it didn't work for months. Then I said, okay, that's working. Let me see if the door panel is working now. That starts to work again. I didn't even give it a second thought. I said, well, this isn't a choice. The place that I wanted is not a choice for me to live then. So I didn't even try to do a U-turn. I could have done a U-turn and said to myself, oh, everything's working now, so let me go look at the place. No, that was already a sign for me not to even go there. I already knew it. That was already a sign for me because I've been praying to the Lord. I don't want to get a place that I would regret. And it's amazing how I pulled up in there. It's like I was locked in my car to where the Lord is saying, don't get out. No. If I knew that, I would have just stayed in there. But as soon as I manually opened it, the alarm goes off. That's another signal. Don't get out. Don't go. To where I had to drive off because the alarm would not go off until I had left that community. Again, I wanted to share that with y'all. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. No matter what your eyes see, no matter what you hear, anything. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will show you where to go. He will tell you if that particular place is a place that he cares for you to be there or not. He will open doors. He will shut doors. Whatever door he opens, go through the door. You won't regret it. You won't regret it because he's not going to bring you in a place where you regret. And in my particular experience, that door was shut. So for him to already show me that the door is shut, it didn't make a, it didn't make any sense for me to hit a U-turn and say, well, my alarm went off. Now I can go look at this place. OK, I don't know what would have been in there. The community could have very well been a, a bad community. There could have been mold. There could have been anything, brethren, anything. The Lord knows more than we know. His eyes see and he understands Things that we don't see, we don't understand, we don't know. And we would not have known until we went ahead and signed a contract or uh, got ourselves into into a type of mortgage. And later on found out we made the worst mistake of our whole life. Alright. So I thought I'd share that with you all, brethren. I pray that you all do this. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. So you would eliminate a lot of problems, pain, suffering, sorrow, distress, depression, anger, resentment, grudges, anything. If we just place the Lord first and we go, he goes, let him go before us that he may smooth every rough road in our way. All right, brethren, I thought I'd go over that with y'all. Y'all take care now.